So you have an Ethernet network, reliable and stable. But the digital world is evolving at lightning speed. In the world where information moves at the speed of light, connectivity is king. And the upgrade from Ethernet to fiber optic network is nothing short of a technological leap. So join us today as we embark on a journey through the intricate process of this upgrade step by step. And if you're interested in exploring the future of solutions, you can visit our solution page now for innovation at your fingertip. Just click connect and conquer. Ethernet networks are the bedrock of wire local area networks. They utilize copper cables to transmit data through electrical signal. While Ethernet has been the go-to standard for decades, traditional Ethernet have their limitations. And they often struggle with slow speed compared to modern data demand. Moreover, susceptibility to interference from electronic devices and electrical noise can disrupt data flow. And also latency can be the issue for time-sensitive application like online gaming and video conferencing. Fiber optic network, on the other hand, represent Crompton Lip in data transmission technology. They rely on fiber optic cable, which use light signal instead of electrical signal, offer blazing fast speed, virtually unlimited bandwidth, and are impervious to electronic magnetic interference. And fiber optic network excel in scenario where data must travel over long distance, like data center. And they're becoming increasingly common in local network due to their exceptional performance. But before you're diving half-assed into the fiber optic upgrade, it is crucial to take a step back and assess your current network setup. Evaluating your existing setup helps you gain a clear understanding of your network requirement. You can identify pain points such as slow speed, connectivity issues, and insufficient bandwidth that need addressing. And assessing your current setup also help you plan for future. Ensure that your upgrade aligns with your long-term goals. And you can also ask yourself a few questions to determine if you're ready for an upgrade. For example, are you experiencing a slow data transfer rate or network construction during a peak usage time? Are you regularly transmitting or receiving large files or streaming high-definition media? Or are you planning to expand your network in the near future? By carefully evaluating your current network setup and answering those questions, you can determine whether you're ready for an upgrade and ensure it aligns with your network requirement and future expansion. So now we're in front of the demonstration board. Today we are going to show you a simple fiber optic network setup. So let's see what we have here. Instead of using Ethernet cable, of course we are upgrading it to fiber optic cable. This one here is factory pre-terminated and tested cable. It has stronger cable structure with protective anti-band materials, also support up to 10G speed and available in 100 300 and 500 meters. You can also use a coupler to get variable length. This one here is 300 meters four string fiber optic cable. And as you can see on both sides, we have the compact media converter. Now media converters are very important. They can bridge the gap between your existing ethernet network and the fiber optic infrastructure. It converts the electrical signal from your network devices into optical signal that can travel over fiber optic cable. This one can serve up to 1000 megabit per second, gigabit bandwidth fast network speed, and also supply up to 20 kilometers fiber optic cable. Inside, we will knit this SFP transceiver. We are using the BD SFP transceiver, and this is where we connect to the fiber optic cable. Since we are using the single mode, this one is suitable for single mode fiber optic cable. There are single mode and multi mode. Single mode are normally for longer distance, while multiple are suitable for shorter distance. Let me put it back and remember. 
The fiber optic network performance and reliability are only as good as the equipment that you invest in. So opt for quality components can save you headaches in the long term and ensure that your fiber optic network performance at its best. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So first we'll need a router to provide the main network data. A router manages data traffic between devices and ensures that it reaches its intended destination. And then I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to the media converter. Since we cannot plug in the fiber optic cable directly to the router, so we'll need this to convert the electrical signal into fiber optical signal. Power it up. And this is the SFP transceiver. Plug it into the media converter and use a fiber patch cord to connect to the media converter and also to our fiber termination box. Let's plug it in this one. This is the fiber termination box. It can provide a secure and organized enclosure for fiber optic termination. Also make it easier to access and maintain fiber optic connection. This is the 300 meters full strength fiber optic cable. I'm going to show you over this side. I already unscrewed it so you can see how it looks like. Inside we have four string and each string has a letter. This is letter A, so make sure you match with the letter. Over that side we plug into the first one. So on this side we also using the fiber patch cord to plug in the first one, match string A. The fiber termination box contribute to a clean and professional appearance, help maintaining an aesthetical pleasing network environment. Then I'm going to connect it to our SFP transceiver and to the media converter. Let's plug it in here. Powering up our SS point and our media converter. Using a short patch cord to connect the converter to our wireless SS point. And this is how you do a fiber optic connection. It's actually pretty simple and the whole connection is done now. To prepare your environment for a successful fiber optic installation, begin by clearing pathways and creating a designated route for fiber optic cable. Ensure proper cable management and protection using a conduit or a cable trace where needed. Also stress the importance of clean and organized setup to prevent damage during the installation. A meticulous and methodical approach to both preparation and installation will ensure your fiber optic network operates smoothly and reliably. And there you have it, minimal latency, lightning fast speed, so why wait? And if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe for more technology insights and feel free to share your fiber optic upgrade journey in the comment below. Thank you very much for watching.